Good evening, everyone, and thank you for listening to this parent information evening. My name is Miss Saunders, and if you don't already know, I am your child's head of year. I'm going to be talking about the pastoral support available to your child, as well as any other key information you may need to know. I have just placed a picture on the screen so that you can put a face to the voice and also um, show your child the picture just in case they are unaware of who I am. I am really looking forward to working with yourselves and also your child over the next couple of years. Firstly, I would really like to express how incredibly impressed we have been with the way in which year seven have settled into academic life here at Long Sands. The, the staff have regularly contacted me with endless amounts of praise for all students in year seven and we are extremely excited to see how they flourish in the next few years. We are still very much aware that this transition is still taking place and that uh, the students um, are, are still feeling maybe slightly anxious um, but please be assured that we will continue to work very hard to support them not only with their transition into secondary school but also with their learning and also looking after their physical and mental health. Now, being a PE teacher uh, myself, I, I'd also just really like to mention how amazing it has been to see so many students at extracurricular clubs last week. Uh, I've witnessed firsthand the participation from year seven in netball club, in rugby and also football club. And I'm so impressed with how they have got stuck in to life at Long Sands. So just some other introductions um, for some key people who will be playing a, a big part in supporting your child throughout their secondary school time. So alongside myself, there is Mrs. Gavigan. Again, I've just placed a photo on the screen in case your child is unaware of who their student support officer is. So Mrs. Gavigan is the year seven student support officer. She can be found in student services throughout the day should your child have any concerns or worries. Other very important members of staff supporting your child is a wonderful team of tutors. Already the tutors have played such a vital role in ensuring your child settles in to secondary school life and also are providing with them with that key information as it arises. We also obviously have our subject teachers, but we are all here to ensure that your child's time at Long Sands is a happy and enjoyable experience and that they leave Long Sands with the best outcomes as well as being well-rounded individuals. I'd also just like to um, mention Mrs. Martin Morales. Mrs. Martin Morales is our Senko. If your child requires any support from Mrs. Martin Morales, please do not hesitate to contact her on the email address provided on this slide. You can also obviously support your child whilst they're at Long Sands. Um, we very much appreciate your communication with us um, just purely so that we can pick up on any concerns quickly and hopefully resolve them um, effectively and efficiently. There are many ways that you can communicate with us. Um, you obviously have the email addresses to your child's form tutors. And I know from, from speaking to so many of the form tutors throughout last week and also this week, that they have thoroughly enjoyed working and getting to know your child over the past couple of weeks. And they're really looking forward to guiding them throughout the next couple of years at Long Sands. So if you do have any concerns or any queries, please in the first instance, contact your child's form tutor. We also obviously have the year seven team who I showed you earlier on in the slides, as well as heads of departments and also your child's teachers. 
the academy will also be communicating with you through many different ways. One, one uh, way that I'd really like to draw your attention to is the Principles Weekly Bulletin, which is a really good way to check any upcoming events or to be notified about any important information. I just want to highlight this email address to you, which has also been shared with all students via their form tutors and also has been provided on the student weekly bulletin. At Longsands, we do not tolerate any acts of unkindness or bullying, and we really encourage students to let us know if they have any concerns or if they're worried or if they have been subject to any acts of bullying. Other than obviously speaking to their form tutors or other members of staff, we have this email address tell us at australia-longsands.org just in case anyone feels that they uh, would rather um, write an email expressing their concern rather than approaching an, a, mem a member of staff. Also around the academy there are a number of post boxes and this is again purely for students who maybe don't want to speak to a member of staff but would like to write down um, their worry and this is checked on a daily basis and will give us an opportunity to follow up um, the, the concerns. Secondly, I'd just like to alert you to the website on the left hand side of this screen. We are aware sometimes students use devices late into the evening and, and this website can provide you um, with an app which can help you to monitor screen time and also it gives some other kind of useful settings to ensure that children are kept safe whilst online. So on the screen in front of you, you can see the year seven tutor time weekly activities. All year groups have uh, particular activities that they will be doing during tutor time that is led by their form tutor. So the form time for year seven begins at 1.50 and finishes just before period five at 2.10. And in front of you, this is the program uh, that the tutors will be delivering to your child on uh, each day. So on Monday, there is an assembly and that will either be led by myself or other members of staff. On Tuesday, the form tutors will be going through the student weekly bulletin. This gives lots of information, key messages, and also provide students uh, a little bit of time to ask their form tutor any questions that they might have about upcoming events. On Wednesday, we deliver a platform called Votes for Schools. Votes for Schools is an online voting platform that gives all students a better knowledge of current affairs. So students uh, take time to discuss these current issues and also have an opportunity to, to vote on how they feel about them. The voting platform enables Longsands to see how our students have voted compared to the national picture, as well as uh, providing some, some key information about uh, different age groups and also genders to give us a real insight into what the students are thinking and feeling about a range of diverse issues. On Thursdays, students will have an opportunity to use their knowledge organisers. Knowledge organisers are provided uh, to all students, which um, contains um, very key content for all subject areas. That might include facts, dates, characters, quotes, um, or important vocabulary. Students will not only use these in tutor time, but will also make reference to them within their lessons. An important aspect of your child's revision for their mid and end of year assessments will actually be using these knowledge organisers for self quizzing. Tutors will help prepare students for these assessments alongside their subject teachers by offering a range of different revision strategies that they can use um, to help them to be as prepared as possible.
And then finally, on Friday, tutors will deliver a reading session in which the book that they will begin with is Carrie's War. The tutor time reading is not an English lesson or an intervention. It is more about the tutor sharing a story together with their tutees, discussing topics such as identity, friendship and bullying, as well as having uh, the main aim to, to try and improve students' confidence when reading. As mentioned in the last parent information evening, um, I did go through the, the expectation towards students' uniform. Thank you for supporting us with the uniform policy and ensuring your child has the correct items as shown on the slides here. The, the year seven students, they are looking very smart and I, I personally would just like to thank you all so much for your support in ensuring that they have the correct uniform. So students have been provided with their Doddle login last week. This is our homework platform. So here the students can see what work they have been set by each of their subjects. It will also provide um, a bit of a description about what they need to do and also um, we'll, we'll give them a deadline for when that piece of work is due in. And it's also really useful as you can check what work they have um, and, and ensure that that is completed or provide any necessary support. Um, they have gone through how to use Doddle during their computing lessons last week. But if there are any questions or if they're unsure about how to log in or um, you know, worried about maybe their uh, work that's been set, please do not hesitate to contact the student's form tutor in the first instance or Mrs. Gavigan and um, we will be able to support your child. But hopefully they have managed to um, set all this up well and are um, familiarising themselves with it. We want to recognise excellent behaviour at Long Sands and I just want to let you know that Year 7 alone have already received over 300 house points from last week and, and this is absolutely fantastic and is testament to how well they have settled in. All adults in the academy have uh, the ability to award house points. House points are recorded on SIMS under the headings of our academy ethos, um, work hard for effort, be kind for helping others and achieve more for progress or excellence. Tutors will actually be looking at house points each week with their tutor groups and will be providing um, students with praise postcards to anyone who has had an exceptional week. Students can also collect prizes um, for a number of house points and there will also be year group and subject based rewards as well. So lots of opportunities for us to be able to celebrate your child's success. And finally, um, I just want to go through some key dates with you. On Friday of this week, Year 7 have their individual and tutor group photos. On Wednesday, 29th of September is the tutor review meetings where you have an opportunity to speak with your child's um, tutor. We also have mid year and end of year assessments that will be into uh, uh, 2022. And finally, we have uh, the Year 7 parent consultation on the 24th of March. Just to make you aware that if there is a parent consultation for Years 7 through to 11, um, the, this will mean that there will be an uh, early closure for the school and that will be after period 3 at 12.05. Students can leave site after period 3 and buses will depart at 12.05. 30. This will also be the case uh, for the tutor review meetings, but please do keep an eye, um, particularly in the principal weekly bulletin, as this will always uh, discuss any upcoming early closures with yourselves. 
Thank you very much for listening um, and taking the time this evening. Um, I hope that that has been useful just to go through a, a few key important messages. But we are incredibly proud and impressed with how Year 7 has started this year. Um, and thank you already for all of your support. Have a lovely evening. Hello, I'm Miss Fox, the Head of English and the Assistant Principal responsible for literacy development across the Academy. I'm going to briefly talk you through some key information about our curriculum and additional support available to students to help them make excellent progress in English. Our Key Stage 3 curriculum introduces students to a broad and rich range of texts from different time periods and culture. In Year 7, 8 and 9, students study one play, one novel and an anthology containing a selection of texts each academic year. Our curriculum plans are available on the Academy website if you'd like more information about the text that your, uh, that your child will be reading. A new addition to our Key Stage 3 English curriculum this year is our fortnightly library lessons. Every two weeks, your child's English teacher will take them to our library where they will have an opportunity to browse, receive support and encouragement to choose a book they will enjoy reading from a wide range of genres, use the computer facilities to engage your accelerated reader and spend some time reading independently for pleasure. Of course, students are welcome to bring in their own books from home to read during these lessons too. All Key Stage 3 students also participate in Let's Think in English lessons, which is a cognitive acceleration programme developed by the education faculty at King's College London an organisation we have a long-standing connection with. In these lessons, students will work in pairs and small groups to discover and explore short stories, poems and extracts, which have been chosen because they are engaging for students and provide real challenge. We have in place additional interventions for students who require extra support with reading and writing. We have a primary specialist teacher of reading who runs phonics sessions for students who need some extra help securing their understanding of phonics. Our SEN team also runs a catch-up literacy programme, as well as targeted reading interventions. The library is open to all students during break and lunchtime and I am based in the library every day at lunch should students need any extra support with English homework. Lastly, we have a wider reading resource on our website which indicates age-appropriate texts linked to what we are studying in English, which students might like to read independently to provide additional challenge and to further develop their understanding of the text we are studying in class. This can be found on our website. Finally, I would like, you introduce, I would like to introduce you to Ms Smith, our Key Stage 3 English Coordinator, who you can contact with any Key Stage 3 English inquiries. Thank you for your time this evening. My name is Julian Merson. I'm Assistant Principal in charge of assessment and moderation. I'd like to talk to you first about homework arrangements for students in Key Stage 3. We use Doddle to record all homework tasks. Parents can access Doddle in order to monitor the homework being given. Students should expect weekly homework in each of the core and foundation subjects. They can also expect homework in the practical based subjects roughly twice per half term. Homework usually takes around 30 to 40 minutes and any specific queries about homework tasks should be raised with the subject teacher. One of our key assessment tools during the first three years at Long Sands is regular testing. We conduct formal tests in each subject twice per year. The results from these tests are reported to parents in the form of a percentage score compared with the median score for all students. This helps to understand how each child has been doing compared with others in the year group. Mid-year tests take place in January and end-of-year tests take place in June. These tests will take place during normal lessons in the normal classrooms. We consider test preparation to be a really important part of this process, so we devote the week prior to tests to revision. Students and parents are notified of the arrangements for tests roughly a month prior to each test week. 
This information includes the topics to revise, key revision tips, and any resources that can be used. We do not expect students to revise for tests during holidays. The tests are cumulative in nature, so cover everything learned at Long Sounds up to this point. This means that students in year eight and nine have to continue to think back through work from previous years in addition to anything they've learned in this year. More details for the mid-year tests will be published at the beginning of December. The pattern of reporting to parents um, follows um, three progress reviews, which happen one for each term. Each progress review includes an attitude for learning assessment for each subject. The second and third progress reviews include the results from the mid-year and end-of-year tests previously mentioned. Parent consultations follow soon after the publication of the second progress review in the spring term. This affords the opportunity for parents to speak directly with subject teachers. I hope these details are clear. Please contact me at Longsounds if you have any queries about assessment 